ledge from that spot. Mm -hmm. And also, um, even though Charizard has good at shield options, Ness is so tricky with which side he's going to end up on there. Um, if Hugh is impatient with trying to deal with Ness, um, it can be rough. But I do know that Hugh uh, 3 0 to Tata, are, so um, he's, he goes to school in Chicago, so I know he's in the Chicago region pretty often. And so he must have uh, some form of comfortability in this matchup. I do like the patience there from Hugh and then going for the whiff punish on the uh, PK Thunder. All right. I like that other shield option. That Nair is very quick. Good hitbox covers both sides. Spacing out on this one. Ooh. I like that one as well. It's uh, tempting to throw the hitbox out a little bit early on that one because it's nice and big. But uh, you have to wait a little bit sometimes with Ness just because he's got some good distance on those aerials. Yeah, and, and right there, Hugh was able to get a lot of percent from Mustard just kind of holding forward into a, a standing still Charizard. And that's that's really what Hugh was looking for. So Mustard, um, even though Ness has some really good aggressive options, you got to be smart with it because Charizard is pretty good at whiff punishing with that dash attack and F-Tilt. Mm -hmm. Nice. I do also like the uh, the call for aggression on that one as Mustard was recovering, held shield after the PK Thunder, and Hugh, with uh, no fear, took the turn right back and closed the stock. Ooh. Oh, we do see the yo-yo. A little spaced away from the ledge on that one, so not going to hang. Yeah, and smart get-up attack from um, Hugh, knowing that the invincibility will be able to always go through yo-yo. Ooh, up smash out of shield. Good call. Doesn't Look, quite yeah, seal it. big boy. Yeah, Charizard's real heavy. Uh, this is a little bit of a danger <laughs> and, zone right now. Yeah, that would have been the stock if that tipper backer hit. I was going to say, this is, like, legitimately the percent. All right, that won't go. That's fine. Wow. Oh, that will kill. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, Rage Charizard is no joke. <laughs> Absolutely not. And see, this is a point where even if you close this back now... Okay, see, there we go. Uh, cinching it with the back throw. Even if you close it back now, now you have to work your way back up and put Charizard back in Rage again unless you get, like, an early stalker again, which is really scary when you're at a deficit like this. Yeah, and all Charizard really needs is, is like, one back air opening to edge guard Ness. Ness has a pretty, like, slow, floaty jump, so back air can catch that pretty well. Gonna try it for the F tilt two frame, not finding it, but he will catch the jump with the back air. Right. That dash attack is so oh. big. Oh no! Going oh. for some some very needed cheese right there, trying to kill Hugh at a uh, 58. Yo! <laughs> that is that <laughs> big tail. That's a big tail. All right, so uh, got that. I wonder if that was supposed to be. Bear. Let's look at that. Oh, yeah. I think time. for sure uh, he meant to bear right there. All right. There's the launch off stage. Yeah, yeah, that was the bear. I do like the idea. I like the idea. Oh, of... You mean from a mustard that he. Yeah, I like the idea that it's, um, you know, because if Charizard has free reign to come off stage, like you said, Ness does have a little bit of an exploitable recovery, so maybe keeping him away, but just wasn't the correct yeah, time. Yeah, and I think the bear actually made him in range of Charizard's bear yes. right there, so I think I actually got him killed, um, in fact. I think that is 100% the case. Definitely stuck out the hurt box on that one. Going to go to Smashville for game two. Yeah. Are you seeing? Yeah, like that. Look at the rep of that! Ooh, ooh. Oh, wow. That's like the max spacing. But um, one thing, Charizard, you know, is a big body, but he is one of the fastest, like, initial dashes and dash speeds in the game. So, really? Yeah, he, he can get up to you pretty quickly. And so um, Mustard, I think he's been throwing out these, like, PK fires and such, kind of not giving Charizard the respect because he's been able to dash attack them over and over because mm -hmm. Charizard has the speed to beat it out. Nice. I do like the PK fire on the recovery on that one. A little bit of a uh, disjointed projectile and lingering on hit. But oh my god, Hugh is just repping the edge guard so much. Even when Mustard gets back, it's always with a toll. Yeah, and that back air hits above Charizard as well, as we saw right there. So another thing you have to look out for, it's almost the up air and the back air in one, the way it hits so far above Charizard. Shoot. Oh, and that's a frame trap right there, I believe. Yeah, really scary. I feel like... Would what, that have been death? I feel like that was death. If Probably. That back air hit. Oh, the PK Flash. All right. I feel like we've been seeing a little bit more PK Flash recently in terms of recovery, but on neutral, still uh, a very risky tool to use. 
Yeah, and Hugh not really giving Mustard any respect at this point. Just jump fairing from ledge, knowing that Mustard was probably going to go for something that was punishable. Mm -hmm. This oh. is another really big advantage of playing a heavyweight like this. When you have a lead, you can absolutely swing somewhat recklessly because you've got the rage to play with. The opponent is scared. You've still got the lead. So even if you don't end up getting it, you've got the advantage. And that's going to be a dead nest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Super heavies, they, they have the luxury of always being able to make a comeback and being <laughs> able to hold the lead super nice. So definitely um, there, there are merits. I don't think Charizard, I mean, Solo is a bad character at all. Obviously, Trainer is better as a pole, but oh, yeah, of course. Charizard's strong. Charizard has some really good things going for him. Yep. I, and again, like you were talking about, the uh, trade with the dash attack on that one when Mustard was trying to go for the PK fire. I also think um, he was just showing a lot of knowledge in this matchup that I don't think Mustard has an equal amount of. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mustard has um, not been able to give that dash attack or that bear enough respect mm -hmm. um, and kind of staying in that airspace. Um, but Hugh has been really good at calling out Ness's weaknesses with like exploitable PK fires or um, slow jumps. So. I think uh, Mustard might not be too familiar with uh, Charizard, at least at the level of Hugh. Potentially so, because a lot of the times when we see Pokemon Trainer, it's usually like, oh, they'll stick for Squirtle for the majority of the time, or maybe uh, Ivysaur favor. But you don't see a Charizard favor too much unless it's to uh, come in clutch or to survive a little bit longer. All right, actually beating out the Epi on that one. Yeah, and that's um. If if they close out the uh, if Mustard close out the stock right here, Ness does have good damage output. Like it's not impossible to bring it back. Mm -hmm. This is absolutely doable. This is still like one good uh, opportunity for Hugh to close this out, but Mustard can do this. This is not that many conversions to win. Yeah, and the thing is, um, e even though Hugh does only need one opportunity, the disadvantage of playing such a big body like Charizard is that opportunity has to come with like a read. You know, you can't really do too much like just throwing out kill moves in neutral. Charizard really needs to like, read a jump or read a dash. And, <laughs> or oh, get a punish on shield. shield. Yep. Uh, good call out on that one. We actually saw the patience uh, from the first up air on that one, waiting for anything else. Very common tactic of shark someone under the platform. Oh, they blocked the first one. I'll just do another one. And uh, this is one of the risks of that, especially with a character with such a good out of shield option. Yeah, it was definitely, uh, um, Mustard did good spacing on the first ones. We'll see right here. He short hops the up air, so, oh, no, he won't. But um, he short hopped that first up air so that he wasn't punchable at shield, but um, just a bit too hungry for it, did that double jump, and that put in perfect spot for Hugh. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, understandable to an extent, because when you're down by that deficit, the pressure is all on you. Even if it's, uh, you know, the person who's in the lead, it's their game to lose there's always work to be done. It's never just like, oh, you know, I can do one thing and I win. It's always more work and more effort. And that feels like pressure. That feels like, oh, if I have to do more work and more effort, I have to be pressing more buttons. I have to be more aggressive. I have to be yeah. doing more of what I want to do to win. And that can hang you in situations like that. Yeah, and I think Mustard kind of, that was like the tail of the set almost, was just like trying to do a lot to like make up for the gap in the lead or something but it just not not respecting Charizard enough while doing it. So I think Mustard is gonna, if they're looking at the VOD, they would wanna like know how they can place their moves around Charizard much better because they were putting, they were doing things that were good, but in spots that Charizard can bear or up be at a shield.